Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about deep brain stimulation in Parkinson's disease. Deep brain stimulation is a treatment typically used in refractory Parkinson's disease when the symptoms are no longer sufficiently controlled by medication alone. The treatment involves electrical stimulation of subcortical structures to modulate neural function. It primarily targets the motor effects of Parkinson's disease, including dyskinesias and tremor. Deep brain stimulation is being evaluated for use earlier on in the disease process. The treatment involves placing a pulse generator under the skin around the chest or the stomach. This is connected to fine wires that are then inserted into specific areas of the brain. The electrodes deliver high frequency stimulation to the targeted areas. The device is typically left on but can be turned off by the patient if they would like. The two most commonly targeted areas are the subthalamic nucleus and the globus pallidus interna. The globus pallidus interna is a wedge-shaped nucleus which acts as the main inhibitory output centre of the motor circuit of the basal ganglia. It normally acts to restrict movement initiation and prevent unwanted movements. It is bordered laterally by the external segment of the globus pallidus and medially by the posterior limb of the internal capsule. It sits just superior to the optic tract. Deep brain stimulation to the globus pallidus internus has been shown to improve motor function, rigidity and tremor. However, unlike DBS targeted to the subthalamic nucleus, DBS to the globus pallidus interna has not been shown to reduce the medication dose required in patients with Parkinson's disease. Another area under investigation as a potential target for deep brain stimulation in Parkinson's disease is the thalamus. Deep brain stimulation of the nucleus ventralis intermedius of the thalamus is already used successfully in refractory essential tremor. In Parkinson's disease, the thalamus exhibits pathological neuronal discharge patterns, hence it is being investigated as a potential treatment target. The subthalamic nucleus is a small glutamatergic nucleus involved in the subcortical motor circuitry. It sits below the thalamus at the level of the red nucleus in the midbrain. It forms part of the indirect pathway, and animal studies indicate that it helps to organise basal ganglia output. These studies also indicate that the subthalamic nucleus shows pathologically increased activity in Parkinson's disease. Deep brain stimulation to the subthalamic nucleus has been shown to lead to significant improvements in motor function. It is useful in patients who are experiencing debilitating motor symptoms, dyskinesias and motor fluctuations. It has also been shown to reduce the dose of medications patients require by around 50% and seems to lead to long-term improvement in symptoms. Find us on Facebook, Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel to help explain the mysteries of the brain.